Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, welcome again to another core session with myself, Michael. Um, again, I've kind of lost track of the weeks here. I think this is number seven, maybe. Um, again, I hope you're staying safe and enjoying um, the little bit of extra time at home you have, if you are at home. Um, again, we've had a little bit of focus online this last while, thanking our frontline workers who um, are involved in triathlon and obviously everybody included in that um, so again we'd just like to extend our thanks to everyone who is out on the front line working day by day um, supporting us keeping us safe and helping us get back to um, a normal life as possible in the, in the coming weeks and hopefully we can start seeing glimmers of hope of that um, in the coming weeks and hopefully this week we'll get more indications of how we can move on to the next phase which is really really positive so um hopefully we get a little bit more freedom uh, in the coming weeks and um uh, it all bodes well i suppose in the future that we um as an organization in terms of triathlon and everything that we want to do in terms of racing gets back to um as normal as possible so hopefully um we can get, uh, get back to normality in the next um coming weeks and months ahead so please stay positive uh, in the meantime we'll try and keep you entertained as much as we can um uh, so today we've got one two three four five six eight exercises bit of a mixed bag we'll work on different very vari uh, varying times uh, that you stay in the hold um uh, different types of recovery uh, ones with uh, a little bit of swim focus a little bit of run focus and again there is my sets we'll do two sets you can do three if you want uh, so it'll take about 15-20 minutes to get the whole way from top to bottom. Again, post any questions if you want and enjoy. So first one, uh, I'll just keep looking down here because I've got them all written down. Flutter kicks is the first one. So we just get a shot. So again, we're going to be on our back, keeping your back planted against the floor at the bottom. Making sure there's no uh, gap in there. Feet out in front. Hands can be placed anywhere really. And all we do is just flutter our feet up and down. Okay, so we'll do. We'll go for forty-five seconds, and we'll do fifteen seconds break. All right. So get yourself comfortable. You can place your hands underneath the base of your back, just on top of your glutes there, if you want a little bit of extra support. Okay. So forty-five seconds. We'll go in four, three, two, one, and go forty-five seconds. Just up and down. Relax the feet. Relax the head down. Don't strain the neck. If you need to, take a little break. If you want, you can take one foot down and just do one at a time if it's getting really difficult. Try and keep it going as much as you possibly can. Any strain in your back or any soreness in your back, take the feet down and take a rest. 20 seconds to go. Doesn't have to be overly fast. Again, squeeze the glute or squeeze the core. Keep your glutes engaged. Keeping the body nice and stable. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. 15 seconds break. So we've been doing a little bit more of kind of plank variations. So this is just another one. Get foam roller out of the way. So you're going to get in your plank position and you're just going to uh, go forward and back, forward and back in a sawn motion. So you get up on your toes. Hands on the ground, you're going to push forward and push back, push forward and push back. Okay, so we'll go for 45 seconds again on this. Three, two, one, up, push forward and back. Forward, you don't need to go too far at the front and come back then just to your elbows at 90 degrees again. Forward and back, forward and back. Good lines in the body. Keep your bum up, don't dip down, just keep it up, nice and level, well done, 15 seconds, again if you need to, just come down onto your knees and go back up again, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and rest, well done, so hopefully you are incorporating these exercises into your ordinary routine part of a strength workout that as you can see Len is doing a lot of these so a lot of them can kind of cross over and integrate very very well or 
maybe do half of this just as a part of a bit of a warm up before your strength before your strength uh, sessions, or you can do them as part of your overall session if you're going for um, a run uh, after this or jumping onto the turbo or on the bike. The next one is you're going to get in a V-sit position. So this position, legs just relaxed at the front round about kind of uh, 45 degree angle. Okay, and then you're just going to take your hands and you're just going to run and that running motion. So it's important here that you don't swing from side to side, you keep it stable. So you're trying to keep everything as stable as possible. The running action is adding a little bit of instability and you're having to hold and hold and hold, okay? So we're going to do for one minute this time, all right? So go in five, four, three, two, one, hold up and just run. So keep your hands relaxed, drive through. That's it, well done. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing, good. Take your hands up just to about knee height. Drive them back, keep your elbows in, close to your body. There will be a slight bit of movement in the front of your feet, just going over and back. But again, if you find it tight, just take one foot down, swap over, then do the other foot, but try and keep it up as long as possible. With 15 seconds left, so this is a longer one by 15 seconds. Up, 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 push, 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 push through. Squeeze tight, everything there. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, well done. So again, you're just trying to reinforce that form in your running to keeping your hands nice and relaxed and driving through. Uh, okay, uh, one to kind of wee bit more specific to swimming, I suppose. So you're going to get uh, kind of back hypers. So get in this position here. Your hands are going to be out in front of you. All you're going to do with them, if you can see me, is just come left and right, left and right. On the back, you're just going to flutter your feet at the back. So in combination, look something like that. So your feet are fluttering at the back, your legs keep them straight, and your hands are coming in and out, okay? So go for one minute as well. Three, two, one, go. It's a slight hyperextension in the back. Again, make sure you're in a flat surface like a mat, foam mat, or you're just your, your own household mat. Straight lines all the time, extend out far, keep the legs fluttering at all times. Going good guys. Keep working, keep working. Stay strict on it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold up. You can change the stroke if you want. Do a bit of a breast stroke. Do a single one coming on and out, whatever you want. Again, these are just adding a little bit of instability and trying to make the exercise a little bit harder, a little bit varied. Take the boringness out of some of the ordinary exercises. So it doesn't really matter too much as long as you're not causing any, any pain or any discomfort there. So uh, next one. Uh, yeah, flutter kicks in the V-sit, so get in the V-sit position again. So like we were here with the running ones, but this time, keeping our hands here, just relaxed, and all we're going to do is flutter the legs in and out, okay? You don't have to keep them straight. You can keep them as straight as you want if you've got nice loose hamstrings. If you want to keep them bent, that's fine. So you're just moving that up and down, up and down, up and down. Keeping the V-sit position as much as you possibly can. Obviously, the further you go back, the harder it is to hold. Okay, but don't go back that your back is relaxed on the ground. All right, so we'll do 45 seconds this time. Okay, three, two, one, go. So just relax your hands. You work fine where the nice little sweet spot is. Is it up, is it down? Can you stretch your legs out a little bit further? Do you need to take them back in again? It's up to you. 
as long as there's movement there, it doesn't have to be fast. If you want, you can take your hands behind, get a little bit of support, keep them close to you. Take them on. Ooh, don't go too far. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Okay, so you'll feel that a little bit in your back as well. That's why I reduced it just by 15 seconds. Uh, scissors this time, so same position, but you're just going to put your, your legs on top of one another. So left, right, left, right. Just want to add a little bit of instability for the rotational element of it. So this will start to um, increase the amount of movement your, that your body wants to do up here. Try and resist against that. Try and hold that, okay? So your obliques and your side muscles and your abs are going to hold you in. Uh, so do 30 seconds first. We'll take a short uh, five seconds break and we'll do another 30 seconds of this. A little bit harder, okay? So same position. Three, two, one, go. That's it. So hold it. It'll want to put you from side to side. Just keep it there. Hands again can be anywhere, just nice and relaxed. So just do 30 seconds, find that spot that works for you. Crisscross. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Short break. We go again in four, three, two, one, go. Same again, 30 seconds. Well done, well done, that's good. Again, just a small movement. 15 seconds. Going good, guys, going good. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest, good. Okay, on your back this time. So we're doing a dead bug position. So what that means is you're on your back and we're going to alternate it. So if you're going to have your legs up at 90 degrees, right leg out, left hand up, take this back, take the hand in, left leg out, right hand back, take the leg in, take the hand down. Okay, so it's up, leg and back down, rotate the other way, leg back down, and just keep that going. Okay. So we'll go for one minute on this one. And we'll go on five seconds. So get yourself in the position. Okay, three, two, one, go. So alternate. Opposite to opposite. Just one at a time. Take the hand and the leg back in again. That doesn't move until you come back to it again. Just relax the hand when you come in. Really work on it. Imagine nice straight lines from the tips of your fingers right down to your toes. Stretch it out. Control. Control as that leg gets out and gets heavier. Control each side. You may find that one side is a little bit stronger than the other. Good straight lines. Well done. Great guys, that's good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Okay, a 7 done. So the last one of this set is just a, a hollow body hold position. So you'll find that a lot of the exercises that you do within core, um, the ones that you use a little bit of movement, sometimes tend to be a little bit easier. It's the ones that you have to stay static and stay holding in that position, excuse me, are the most difficult ones, uh, like this one. So for this one, I'm just gonna do 10 seconds, then we're gonna take five seconds off, 10 seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds. So three sets of 10 seconds. So all you're gonna do, as it says, your body is in a hollow position. So your bum and everything stays on the ground, everything else comes up and you're holding. Okay, and then you want to relax down. Again, depends how much you can hold in that hollow position. All right, so don't go straight out. 
still have to be in that hollow position and hold for 10 seconds and then five seconds off. Three sets, okay? So three, two, one, go. Boom. Try and keep your legs out straight. Again, if you need to, just bend your knees. Three, two, one, down. Five, four, three, two, one, ten seconds again. Really work on it. Stay focused. Squeeze nice and tight the whole way through. And rest. Last one, it should really burn. Three, two, one, go. That's a tough one. Okay, so that's one round done. So what I'll do this time, I'll just run through the flutter kicks, the saw and plank position, run and V-set and so on and so forth. Uh, we'll just do 30 seconds of a round that the whole way through. Um, you can do longer if you want. Um, anything from 30 seconds up to a minute. After a minute, um, if you're working really hard at a minute, that's, that's quite enough. So make sure you're, you know, you're working hard on the exercise when you're doing it. So I'll do a quick 30 seconds through here, and then you can add on another set if you want, uh, if you wish, okay? So flutter kicks again, right back to the start. So 30 seconds, legs out in front. Three, two, one, go. Up and down, good. Just 30 seconds here, relax the feet. Don't point your toes, just relax them. Fifteen seconds. Good, 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 good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Quick change over. Plank. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one. Go forward and back. Push forward. Come back. Push forward. Push forward. Good. Pull it in. Just 30 seconds, we're moving pretty quick through these. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, good. V-sit with the running arms. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, up the get, go. Just run, 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 run. Oh. Arms relaxed, keep them close to the side of your hips. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Onto your front. Let's have your flutter kicks and your arms out in front. 3, Watch, three, two, one, go. Little kicks and then start. Well done guys, well done. Keep breathing. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, go. Okay, in your V-sit position again, just flutter kicks instead of the arms. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So staying up, kick them out in front. 30 seconds, well, he's in nice and short, so you should be able to stay up in every one of these and work right through. That's it, just add that little bit of instability. This part should be working all the time to correct itself, try and get up, try and get down. If it's not, you're not putting enough pressure on yourself. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Okay, uh, scissors, same position, just leg 
One leg over the top of the other. Crisscross. Ready? Go. Ten seconds gone. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Good, 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 good. Nearly there. Coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Good. Uh, alternate dead bugs on your back. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Stretch it. Stretch it. Good, nice long lines throughout the body. All the way to the top on your hands. All the way down to the bottom on your arms. Good. Well done. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Okay, last one. A hollow and a sit. So 10 seconds, 5 seconds off, 10 seconds off. So we'll do that three times. Okay. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Oh. Two, one, rest. Five, four, three, two, one, whoop. And rest. Woo. One more. Ready? Three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one. Oh. That one's hard. Okay, so as I said, you can go again and do another do another set if you want. Uh, if you are, just go back and do the, the slower type version of it. Uh, that one's a quick run through if you want it to be more of a kind of course circuit based one where you're working a little bit more on your cardiovascular fitness as well. Um, if you really want to kind of slow it down and really focus on the stability element of it <coughs> and work a bit more of a kind of strength and conditioning and core type exercise and slow it down don't worry about the recovery um, take as much recovery as you want and um, to make sure that the exercise is done properly obviously don't be going on to two three four five minutes uh, recovery but uh, take as much as you need to make sure that the exercise is done is done properly for the next one so again thank you very much um, again, any questions you have or anything you want us to focus on, please let us know. And I hope to see you all next week. Uh, stay safe, keep training, and uh, speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.